Okay, so I'm sorry. I embar I'm embarrassed. I'm mortified that I have to make this video, but I deserve that. I deserve it. I get it. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize for the Reflex 2 video. It was a disgustingly bad taste, a bad decision to do. It was it was just a poor decision and it does it just I didn't want to offend the Reflex community. I didn't want to offend people with it, but it was blatant clickbait and it sounds like MX Warlord is probably not the most credible person to go after. I didn't know that, but ignorance is no excuse. It was my fault 100% and it was it was just my fault. There's really nothing else to say about it. It was a bad idea and it was obvious clickbait. I knew it right away. And I'm sorry for that. I apologize. I really really do. But uh, in this video, I actually want to cover a bunch of things. And now, keep in mind, everything I say and talk about is from both sides of the fence. So, subscriber and viewer side and other content creators on YouTube because it looks like that is a bigger problem than maybe I was aware of. Uh, so, let's start off with going back to a year ago. Maybe a year and a half, but we'll say a year. We're going to start with All Out. So it sounds like I want you guys to be able to believe and trust what I'm saying. I want transparency to be a thing and I feel like it sounds like there's other creators and I'm sure subscribers and viewers, just maybe viewers that uh, don't feel like the transparency has been there as much the last year uh, from in the beginning, which I just didn't, I wasn't aware of. I just wasn't aware of. Uh, I was aware of the problems, but I wasn't fully aware of what the biggest problems were. And starting with All Out, I feel like people, people, not, I don't feel, people accused me very heavily of being uh, sponsored by them because I wasn't playing Super Cross the Game at the time either. I'm telling you right now, I have never been sponsored by MX vs. ATV. They flew me out last year for Phoenix to test the game, play the game early, give my feedback, and go to the Super Cross race. And then I got an early review copy of the game, like two or three days early. I feel like people feel like I was sponsored because I didn't criticize the game enough. I still to this day criticize. I feel like the game does not perform on consoles as it should. It just straight up doesn't. Uh, there's other problems, but I play it on PC and on PC I'm happy with it. You guys know that I like uh, arcade games. I like Encore. It's my second favorite game of all time from MX vs ATV. So I enjoy All Out even with the problems and I've mentioned them. But people thought I was sponsored by them and I wasn't. Now, Supercross the Game, this was more from a creator side, a content creator side on YouTube, but some from the subscriber viewer side too, they were unhappy. I took a sponsored deal with Square Enix because they were publishing Supercross the Game. And I believe the comment was along the lines of, now you have to play nice, which is some degree true. I mean, no one's going to sponsor a video of yours and be happy if you just trash the game. You know what I mean? You can't just sit there and trash the game and they're going to be happy to sponsor you still. It doesn't work like that. So to some degree, yes, it, it was. Uh, I feel like maybe you felt like you couldn't trust what I was saying. I can tell you that I've seen other YouTubers, uh, not Moto YouTubers, just uh, YouTubers in general do sponsor videos. And I feel like it's kind of uh, a lie, you know, they'll they'll play a game one time, some tiny mobile game or whatever, and say that they're having the time of their life, the, their favorite game of all time, and then they'll never play it again. It was all to talk up the game to drive sales so that they can make more money, I feel like. I feel like. So I get where you feel like it was the same deal with me. And I apologize for that. I don't want you to feel like you can't trust me. And I know that you come here for the, the news or any exclusive deals we have or opinions on the game. And if I take a sponsored deal like that, you can't trust what I'm saying. I get that. I get that that's a problem and it bothered you. And I never, I mean, I addressed it, but I guess didn't fully address it the best I could. But uh, yeah, since it was a sponsored deal, that's why I couldn't post. It wasn't, it was part of the rules, I guess. I, I mean, I don't, I didn't write the rules, so. It was part of the rules, so I apologize for having to make you wait uh, to see me play it at least. You could have seen it be pl being played, but to see me play it or get my opinions on it, and then having this huge letdown of, oh, I waited this long, and now do I even believe what he's saying? I'm sorry. It was a mistake. It was a mistake on my part. 
And as far as the clickbait goes, I honestly don't feel like I really have that many clickbait videos. I mean, there are a handful for sure. We'll go with the Reflex 2 was terrible, terrible clickbait. I mean, it was bad. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, From the bottom of my heart, it was a mistake. I am sorry. The... The, uh, the new dirt bike game, is it good that we just did? That really sucky game that I played, it was like Dirt Bike Insanity. That was pretty clickbaity. I mean, yeah, it was a new dirt bike game, but it very much implied that it was going to be this huge, crazy new game nobody heard of, and that wasn't the case. It was one of the worst games I ever played as far as moto games go. But the screenshot did come from the developers themselves. It's on Steam. It's, I didn't... I didn't take anything that wasn't theirs, but yeah, it was clickbait. There's no excuse, it was clickbait. And I believe I did a video in All Out with the Suzuki preview. That was clickbait. It was uh, someone from Rainbow Studios was playing in public lobbies, and my wife and I were playing in public lobbies recording, and we happened to see the bike after the race. He rode by us, and you could kind of see it. Yes, it was a preview, but it would have implied much, much more than that, and it wasn't. So clickbait... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for videos like that. I know I have more probably, but I'm not looking at my video manager right now, so I'm not aware of all of them. But I know there's more, okay? It's not like I'm saying, oh, I only have three. I'm sure there's more, okay? I'm sure there's more. And then I know there's videos that I personally didn't feel like were clickbait, but the viewer, the subscriber, or other content creators for sure believed it was. Like I did it in a malicious way to hurt somebody, which is not the case. A uh, specific video was for All Out. There was a video, I believe I titled it something like Monster Energy Kawasaki Teammates. And a lot of people thought that was clickbait. They thought they were going to see Monster Energy Kawasaki graphics or something like that. And all it was was in one of the races, I was constantly saying that we're Monster Energy Kawasaki teammates or something like that. I don't know. It was a long time ago. That was clickbait. In my mind, when I did it, it wasn't clickbait. But looking back on it, it was but it was unintentional. Does that make it right? No. You learn from your mistakes, but uh, yeah, that was clickbait. And I know there's other videos like that. I Some people said that like the mobile MXGP game was clickbait. I disagree. I don't believe that that was. It was a mobile MXGP game. The official mobile MXGP game made by Milestone. Was it good? No, but it was the official game. Uh, a few people I saw saying that my every MX versus ATV game video and every milestone game video was clickbait. I don't know how. I mean, it was every game they made and then I ranked them in my opinion. If that's clickbait, I don't know what you can do. I, I really don't. And I'm sorry for the clickbait. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry for the unintentional clickbait too. And I know some people are shaking their head there saying that, no, he knew it was clickbait. He's just trying to get out of it. No, man, I'm trying to call out myself for the clickbait I've done. I want you to believe that what I'm telling you and what I say in videos you can trust. I want you to be able to come here and see the new news for Moto Gaming, the, I don't know, original ideas. I mean, track reviews aren't original. They weren't made up by me. But the Does Your Track Suck, I tried to come up with a different way of doing it the the new games i mean i want you to be able to come here and believe that what i'm giving you as an opinion is true and if i'm taking sponsored deals like i did last year you can't trust that if i'm clickbaiting the heck out of you you can't trust that so in my opinion for the handful of clickbait videos i've done over the last year i apologize for it i really do i'm sorry for it and intentional clickbait videos will not happen again i i'm really from the bottom of my heart, honest to God, sorry for it. I really am. The unintentional clickbait videos, I will try to be very conscious of what I'm doing and how I'm titling it and stuff like that so that it's not, but I can't promise you that other people aren't going to accuse me of it. You know what I mean? Just like the every MX versus ATV, every milestone game videos we did. That to me is not clickbait. And I would title them the same. Had I had the chance to go back and do it again, I wouldn't change anything. So I can't you can't please everybody, but I would like to try and get a majority of people, you know what I mean? So, I'm sorry, man. I, I really am. I don't want, going back to the Reflex video, I don't want the Reflex community to be disgraced by a video like that and base that video off of one comment that came from somebody that 
sounds like, I don't know for sure, but from what it sounds like, isn't the most credible person to go off of. So, I'm sorry. It was probably just a hoax, a joke. I did mention that in the video, but that's no excuse for for uh, how it came out. And uh, I don't know. I mean, you can't please every subscriber or every viewer. It's impossible. It's the internet. But I'm going to try my best to do so, okay? And be as transparent as I can and mention things in a video. As far as other content creators go, you can't please everybody the same way. People are always going to be critiquing you and criticizing you, but I mean, we all do the same kind of games, okay? We all play moto games. I'm not saying our content's the same by any means. I'm just saying we all play moto games. I don't want to have to be at war with everybody. That's not my goal. That's not my what I want. I just want to be... If the problem was that... In the last year, I've had clickbait videos and not explained my situation with working on certain games and working with certain companies hasn't been good enough. I'm trying to explain it now. Yes, it's probably too late because it should have happened earlier, but let's go with the cliche, better late than never. Uh, never worked with MX vs. ATV a lot as far as the sponsorship goes. I explained that situation. Um, and Milestone was a sponsored deal last year. I did tell you that they offered to uh, fly me out to Anaheim 2 to do some stuff, but uh, I did not go. And I do not have any plans of any sponsored video for Supercross the Game 2. So I'll be playing it just like you guys, just normally. So I'm sorry. I I'm really sorry. I don't know how else to say it. I wish I could take it back. I can't. That video is going to be going down. Okay, it is going down. By the time you see this video... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. By the time you see that video... Uh, or by the time you see this video, that one will have been gone. And people will say that, Oh, you already collected all the ad money you want off of it. I really wish people would stop saying that or insinuating that I'm just this horrible, greedy person. It's not about the money. If it was about the money, I would oversaturate my videos with ads. In a 10 minute video, you might see like six ads, okay? I don't, I put like one ad in a 10 minute video, the, the beginning ad and one other ad, okay? So in a 15, 20 minute video, I might put three ads, okay? And most of them aren't uh, video ads. I know that you could choose, I know a lot of people can do that. They choose to just have the video ads play, not the overlay ones, so the video stops more often. I don't do that, I'm not gonna do that. I know how annoying that is. So it's not about the money. It's not like, it's not about the money. It's not, it really isn't. If you wanna say something, it's probably more about growth and exposure than it is the money, okay? We're in a niche thing, okay? We're in a niche thing that'll probably never ever blow a channel up out of the water to a million subs. I'm not saying channels can't reach hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but to reach millions is probably a stretch. So it's not about the money, man. It's not. I've been playing these games since I was like six years old. I've been riding bikes since I didn't start when I was a kid, but I started riding when I was like 10, okay? I still have bikes. I love riding. I love playing these games. It's a passion. It's a pastime and it's a passion. And that's why it's important to me to have people be able to trust what I'm doing. So I apologize. The video is really long. Sorry about that. I tried recording this like three or four different times trying to figure out how I wanted to say it. Hopefully this one's good enough, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry for the Reflex 2 video and any other intentional clickbait videos I've done, aside from the ones I've mentioned that I'm sure I have, and any unintentional ones. I apologize for that, and I apologize. I'm sorry for the lack of transparency for the people that are very, very offended from that. And if you're a creator and have a problem with something that I'm doing in particular, contact me, man. I'll invite you to my Discord. Let's have a talk about it. If it's just you don't like me because of me being a person, okay, I get it. You don't have to. Can't please everybody. But if it's more for a specific problem, come on. Don't don't be the don't be a keyboard warrior. Let's talk about it, okay? I'm willing to talk to you and have you tell me what you, what I've done that you really, really, really don't like and you don't want to see me do anymore. It's my channel. I can do what I want. 
but I don't want to do that. I want to do things that I want to do aside from basically making a video a lie for you guys. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry. Video is really long. Uh, thank you if you made it this far so you could at least hear what I had to say. And I apologize in the clickbait's not going to happen. That Reflex 2 video is going down. And I'm sorry. <laughs>